Thief on Minecraft, to Banjo Kazooie, to Sonic, to Mega Man, to Pac Man, and more, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate has a ton of third party characters. For those who don't know, a third party character is basically basically a character who is in the game, but the game itself is not developed by Nintendo. For instance, Mega Man's in the game as a playable fighter, but Mega Man is from a Capcom game. And today I'll be listing my five DLC third party characters I'd like to see in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So let's jump into it. Number one, we have Dr. Eggman from the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. Now, it's really cool that we have Sonic in Smash, but I would like to think that we could have some more Sonic reps in the series, and I think Eggman would make a lot of sense. First of all, he's a very iconic character. He has appeared in most of the Sonic games, being a very big nemesis to Sonic the Hedgehog. Eggman likes to foil the blue hedgehog using his traps and gimmicks, and I think that's where Eggman could be a really cool fighter. Eggman is a bigger person, so he could be a heavyweight with the likes of like a King DDD, but Eggman's gadgets could also make him more like a Bowser Jr. I think you could do a lot of cool things with Eggman's moveset, and have it seem familiar, but yet different. Also, his final smash, he could bring on Chaos from the Sonic Adventure series, which could be really neat. In terms of other things, such as costumes, you could also have some skins that look more like Dr. Robotnik. I think Eggman could be a really cool character that could fit in the Smash universe, and having him going up against villains like Wolf, Ridley, and Bowser would just be really neat to see. Number two, we have Crash Bandicoot from the Crash Bandicoot series. Now, we have not had any representation in the Smash series in terms of playable flatters from the Crash universe, so I think Crash Bandicoot would be great. First of all, he is a huge icon for Sony. You know, when the PlayStation 2 and 1 were, you know, really had a rivalry with Nintendo, Crash was really heavily involved with the marketing. Also, we have other mascots in the game. Pac-Man, Sonic, Mega Man, Mario. So, Crash being in there would make a lot of sense. Also, his games feel like they would fit in with, like, Kind of Mario, Kirby, Sonic type of feels, but yet Crash Bandicoot's games also feel different. And for me, he also nails the personality. A lot of Nintendo characters have this very goofy kind of personality about them, and I think Crash Bandicoot would fit that very well. In terms of third-party characters, I could see him being very similar to Banjo-Kazooie, in terms of kind of the personality they have. In terms of attacks for Crash, um, you know, you have a, his different spinning and jump moves, and he has Aku Aku, which he could use. Overall, I think Crash will make a lot of sense in the game. It will just be a huge milestone for Smash Brothers to add him to the roster. For number three, we have Dig Dug from the Dig Dug series. And I know this is a very interesting pick. But I think it could actually work pretty well. For instance, we have a lot of retro characters in Smash. Dog Hunt, Rob, Mr. Game & Watch, Pac-Man, etc. So, I think Dig Dug would make sense in the game. And with these retro characters, Nintendo has done a really good job with them. Like, Dog Hunt is a very cool fighter in the game, very unique. Same with Rob. And I think you could do a lot with Dig Dug. His ability to dig into the stage is something they could implement. We recently saw with Steve from Minecraft, they did some very unique things with the building. So with Dig Dug's moveset, you could do some more things with that in terms of digging. He also has his air pump. So there's just a lot of moveset potential for Dig Dug. And I also think, you know, he's a very classic character in terms of retro gaming. And like I said, that's something that Nintendo has leaned into. I think he's someone who would feel very unique a big criticism of some Smash DLC fighters is that they all feel the same. So Dig Dug would definitely be a breath of fresh air for the series. For number four, we have Ai Ai from Super Monkey Ball. So, it's cool that Sega has Sonic, but it would be cool to see another Sega franchise in Smash, and I think Ai Ai just makes a lot of sense. 
First of all, the Super Monkey Ball games are fun. They kind of remind me of a game you would find published by Nintendo and developed by Nintendo. Fun, you know, for the family, they're very bright, colorful. Sometimes they're challenging, but not too much. So, first of all, I think Super Monkey Ball Universe would fit great in Smash. And I think I.I. would be a good choice. I think, for me, he brings the cool potential for Musa. He could be on his monkey ball. He could be off of it. You could do a lot of different things with him. And you can maybe implement some things with the motion controls. Even though players wouldn't like that, maybe there's something you could do with him. I don't really have, you know, that much experience with the monkey ball games. But I feel like Sakurai and his team could do something with I.I. if he was in the game. Another reason I have him on this list is because I think it would be cool to have a Super Monkey Ball game on the Switch. You can maybe do a co-release. I.I. and Smash DLC and announce a new Super Monkey Ball game. Super Monkey Ball is popular, but it could be, I think, much more popular. The games are fun, and I think if I.I. was in Smash, a lot more people would discover the Monkey Ball games. You go back to Super Smash Bros. Melee, people didn't really know who Marth and Roy were from Fire Emblem. Marth and Roy in the game, people love Fire Emblem. So I think I.I. would be a fun character, but could also really help his series get to bigger popularity. Before I say my number 5 spot, I do have some honorable mentions. The first one is Sora. Now the reason why Sora would be cool is, so first of all, Akeem does not get mad at this video that I did include so Sora. Joking aside, Sora would be cool. Representing the Kingdom Hearts franchise, you could do some neat stuff with his Keyblade and have a nice moveset. The only reason I didn't include him in my top 5 is that we have not seen a Kingdom Hearts game on the Switch, so I left him out of it. Another character that would be really kind of, this one is very out of the blue, Wreck-It Ralph. Uh, I mean, this one would be very wacky. He had a movie, you know, in his movie he had some video game characters, uh, like Sonic was in Wreck-It Ralph. So, it would be very wild to have him in it, but I could kind of see it happening. If he was in the game, that would just be insane, and he could have a cool moveset. Um, next up for honorable mentions, we have Spyro. For me, I don't want it to include Spyro or Crash. I just like Crash a bit more, but Spyro, fun games. Uh, you could do a cool moveset with him, flying, using his fire, and ramming people. So Spyro the Dragon, would love to see it. And then also when I have Kratos from God of War. The God of War series I feel like has been super popular lately. And I feel like Kratos would make sense. Some of the Smash third-party DLC characters such as Ryu, Snake, Cloud, Sephiroth, their games are a bit more mature, so I could see Kratos happening, and to have a big selling rep I think would be really cool. But let's go to my number five selection, and that is Master Chief from the Halo series. This is a very popular pick, and I think for good reason. First of all, to have Master Chief, a Halo character, be in Smash would be very neat, and I think it is plausible. Angel Kazooie and Steve are both in the game as DLC characters, and that is something Nintendo and Microsoft had to work out. Also, another thing about Master Chief is I think his moveset would fit in perfectly. He is very similar to, say, a character like Samus, but yet he's different enough. And I think that there's a lot of neat things you could do with his weapons. For me, Smash Brothers is milestones. Before, you know, Smash Bros. 4, it was about milestones in Nintendo. Now it's about milestones in gaming. And having all these characters in one game is absolutely crazy. I just think having Master Chief would be great. To have this big Halo Microsoft rep in the game. And it would just be awesome, you know, as a fan of Nintendo, to kind of have the Nintendo, Microsoft, Sony console war. But have a game with each of a big representation of characters from those companies. That would just be so cool. As someone who grew up with the you know console wars being a big deal, Master Chief just being in Smash would be really neat. He's been in Fortnite, so I could see him appearing. And overall, everyone, that is my list. 
Let me know what you all thought of it. And until then, this is the Midnight Tanman doing all the love. Take care and bye-bye.